Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how some of the brown children are absolutely dragging and throwing shade at Cody and Robin on social media. Cody has 18 kids. The kids are getting older. They're coming into their own. They're growing into adults. And with that comes social media. And many of them are on social media. And two in particular in the past few weeks have decided to kind of take a dig at their dad. And it has people are just cracking up. So first let's talk about Gwen's um, Instagram story. So a few weeks ago, uh, Gwen took to her Instagram story and this is what she had to say. I'm dead ass when I tell you this is what shows up when you Google my father. And it's like if you were to Google Cody Brown and it's the result is Christine's, Christine Brown's ex-husband, hysterical. We already stand Gwen for wearing in several scenes this season. She is seen wearing a sweatshirt that says feminist. You totally know that that grinds Cody's gears. And we just stand her for being her own person. Love to see it. Then we have Peyton's TikTok. And when I tell you I full body cackled, I was sent this multiple times. I... I died. So I got this package in the mail and it doesn't matter. The package isn't super important, but it's kind of just like, kind of funny. I don't know, yeah, like, you know, what, you know? Not only did he post that TikTok, but then if you go into the comment section, he says, mom loves the shirt and wants mine now. Then other people had commented, you need to video your mom, Christine's reaction to the shirt. He liked that. Someone wrote, Robin watching this. He liked that. Christine's delivery of those words was one of my favorite moments of the show. And he liked that as well. So he, this is something that he, the brown kids, and even C Cody and the wives who have said that they don't really watch the show anymore. And if you look back, they used to live tweet during the episodes, but they stopped doing that in seasons 15. I think it's because they got so, like Cody especially was receiving so much backlash that it was just like, nah, let's just, let's just not open ourselves up for that. So I get it, but, um, it's nice to know that they have seen what people have thought was just such an iconic line and they're really leaning into it. This Sunday, we're going to see the final installment of the one-on-one -on -one tell all. And one of the things that I have really noticed during the last two installments is just the total attitude and body language differences between Cody and Robin and Christine. Christine seems to find the humor in kind of Cody's ridiculousness and she seems really content and happy where she is at now. On the other hand, Robin and Cody seem on edge. Cody is really combative. Remember when he said, take it back. I take offense to that when when the host said that he emotionally abandoned his kids. So Cody is really combative. Robin is crying. Although many, many viewers have pointed out that she's dabbing at places that tears aren't really produced from. And we haven't actually seen tears. So people question the authenticity of these emotions from her. Another thing I wanted to touch on since we're talking about the brown kids, one thing that Robin said during the tell-all is that she would absolutely help facilitate any kind of conversation that any of the kids wanted to have with Cody because the family is so important to her. She didn't sign up for monogamy, blah, 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 blah. Well, that to me, it's you know, actions speak louder than words and what she has done and what she has also said 
in other conversations on the show really contradict what she just said in that statement. She admits that at least one kid has called her and she could have said, like uh, called her about like loosening up on the rigidness of the rules and stuff. And she could have said, hey, you got this all wrong. Uh, come on over. Let's work this out. Um, let's see. Like, I, I understand how you're feeling. Um, I get it. You ha Cody hasn't been around in a while. Let's let's figure this all out. But instead, she goes, oh, this isn't me. This is, th this is all your dad. And then that's it. That's the end of the conversation. And nothing ever gets solved. Nothing ever gets resolved. As a matter of fact, things only get worse. Not only that, but then she sits her kids down on camera. So I can only imagine the kind of conversations that have taken place off camera. But she sits her kids down on camera to tell them how much the other moms and kids don't want to be around them. How much they don't matter to the rest of the family. And this only furthers the tension and the divide in the family. I'm really looking forward to the final installment of the tell all. I'm really looking forward to season 17. I feel like the show is getting really interesting again. <laughs> um, which for several seasons we've kind of had to like, you know, we were dedicated fans and we, we got through it. And now, now we're seeing, you know, Cody, I don't know if it's the editors or the producers are just not doing him any favors anymore, but it really seems like the mask has come fully off and Cody is being exposed for the type of person he really is, which is a narcissist. It's really nice to see like Christine and Janelle too questioning like, if polygamy is really working for them anymore, like their children are growing up and they're going to be left loveless and alone if they choose to stay with Cody. And Christine said, no, thank you. I'm super excited to see her journey next season. I really hope Janelle follows suit. We'll see. One of my last videos was speculation. Could Cody consider courting new wives? I don't know. Never say never. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I am just so, it just is so f funny and it kind of, it just makes viewers happy to see the brown kids happy and that they too find humor in kind of the ridiculousness that is their father. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.